This is First Contact, stories of the call center. For those that have a customer service department and then say, okay, I'm going to blow this thing up and rebuild it from ground up, or I'm building this from scratch. Are there some key things that you think you would have to have or you must have in the customer service department to do it right? Right. Well, the first thing is, is don't let technology get in the way of a human human relationship. You can't automate a relationship. Now, if you're in the type of business, there's very few businesses that can get away with this, where everything's digital and automated, but self-service needs a human backup. So I would say, okay, um, if I'm going to be starting from scratch, uh, number one, I would want to know what are my most common so where are we starting from scratch? Are we starting like the company's never sold an item before? Or are we starting with, you know what? I think we're big enough now that we need to have a support center. Uh, yeah, let's go with that one. That one. Okay, works. good. Because I think starting from scratch at the very beginning is kind of a weird, oh, I'll, I'll go there. Okay. Small business starts from scratch. What do you do? You let everybody take a shift as a customer service rep. Okay. And that means two hours a week, two hours a day, whatever, but everybody gets to play the role because you want, I believe customer service is cultural. It's part of a philosophy. It's not just a department. It, you can call it a department if you want, but that's because that's what you call it. It's not really what it's meant to be. Everybody's involved. So we want everybody to do that. But let's say we're getting to a point where we need to build out. Number one, we sit down with the team. We go, what are you hearing? What are the biggest complaints that you hear? That's the first thing. We want to know why they're happening again and again. It's time to start to mitigate or eliminate them.